Whoa, that's a recording, ain't it? <clears throat> okay, hold on. I gotta adjust my camera here. Get a little adjustment right there for you. Okay. So today we're gonna show you how to make stencil solution with an old method I learned from a fella down there in Dallas, Texas. Good guy, Chris. Don't want to say his last name just in case he doesn't want to reveal his identity, but he taught me this method and I think this is a great method. So, today that's what we're learning. Uh, you're going to need isopropyl alcohol, speed stick, regular. Don't get that fancy ocean stuff. I almost said a bad word. You're going to need a good clean knife. What I recommend is get one of those pre-sterilized scalpels from a place like uh, Painful Pleasures or something. And then what I like to do to mix it in is I like to cut up an alcohol container. And then I cut up the deodorant. I already did that part. We're already past that. Cut up the deodorant in a bunch of little pieces. Put it in the microwave for about 30, 35, maybe 36 seconds. Not too long. That's crazy. Then we're going to take our, and you use this one time. So you take your alcohol container. You know it's clean in there. It's rubbing alcohol. You use that to melt the deodorant in your microwave. Make sure you use a clean microwave. This is all about trying to be clean here. So I didn't mark this bottle, but I'll show you guys a little trick here I learned. So I take it and I measure about, okay, that is exactly two pieces of tape from the bottle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two more pieces of tape. I'll put a piece of tape to represent where it's at. And I'll put a piece of tape to represent 50% of where it's at. And then to represent 100%, I'll put one more piece of tape. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our, take our green soap, just standard green soap. It's soap, and it's made from green. You get it on the internet. Uh, you can get it at Tatsol, Kingpin, Painful Pleasures, Unimax, Nuclear Tattoo Supply, Element Tattoo Supply, any of those, but I personally like Tatsol when they're doing good. Um, I like Kingpin because you know it's for tattooers, by tattooers. Support your own people. Your people are tattooers. This ain't no race thing, your people are tattooers. So what I just did is I put 50% of what I have here in green soap, 50% in alcohol. So what I'm saying is, if you have eight ounces, this is just an example, eight ounces of melted speed stick, you put four ounces of green soap, four ounces of distilled water from the Walmart. They got a Walmart right down from my trailer. I just walk on down there, buy the distilled water and buy the isopropyl alcohol. So now that I've done all that, I've got a little, put a little splash of the isopropyl alcohol in there. Okay. A splish. This is an exact measurement. Splish. Splash. And then a little... Oh, that smells nice. And a little spelunk. If you spill some, you put a little spelunk. So I'm going to say about maybe 5% of our total mixture there is rubbing alcohol. Make sure you get the rubbing alcohol, the 70% isopropyl. You don't want the pushing alcohol, the pulling alcohol. You don't want the friction free. You don't want the menthol. You want rubbing alcohol. It's for rubbing. It ain't for nothing else, okay? Make sure your hands are clean when you're doing this. I'm taking a paper towel here. And that's just so I have a good grip on this because I spilled alcohol all over it. Spilled the dickens out of that alcohol. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take it. And as instructed to me by a fellow tattooer when I was young and scratching. Take this mixture. Shake it like a Polaroid pitcher. For further instructions, find Andre 3000. He's uh, a singer. He's from a band called Outcast. Great guy. He could tell you a lot about how to shake something like a Polaroid pitcher. Also, a little advice from Andre is roses really smell like ooh boo boo. Have a good day. Thanks for watching Redneck Stencil Mix. Peace out.